Good evening, and welcome to the Ursuline College Sligo Virtual Open Night. This time last year, we were six class pupils, just like you. Unfortunately this year, our open night has to be virtual in order to keep everyone safe. We still hope you will get a sense of the friendly atmosphere in our school. To start off our tour tonight, we're over to the Home Economics and Technology Rooms. We hope you enjoy the evening. Hello and welcome to Home Economics. My name is Mrs Clifford and I'm one of the three Home Economics teachers here in the Ursuline College. Home Economics is a vibrant and popular subject where students learn about the interrelationship between diet, health, family, home and the choice and management of resources. As a subject, it equips students with knowledge and understanding along with skills and attitudes necessary to become independent through engagement and active participation in the theory and practical application which our subject has to offer. Hi, I'm Kira, and I'm a third year. I chose Home Ec because it's a subject that teaches you practical skills that you need in life. I find it very helpful for geography and science because they overlap on certain topics. This is my stocking from first year and this is my bedroom in a shoebox from this year. I got to practice interior design which really helped brought out my creative ideas and skills. We get to cook and bake various dishes. The other day I made a chocolate Swiss roll in preparation for Christmas. Home ec is a subject that I always look forward to and always enjoy. Here are examples of um, interior design that we've done this year and here's a poster um, that recently we did for revision of special diets. Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm in sixth year. I've been studying home economics for six years now. When I came into first year, I chose home economics as it is widely known as a subject of sewing and baking. However, I've since learned it is so much more. My favourite memory of first year home economics is being able to craft and sew my very own Christmas stocking, which I still have today. I'm very grateful to be studying home economics as I have developed a broad knowledge of food, nutrition and social studies. Hello everybody, my name is Mr Gilmartin and welcome to the Applied Technology class. Uh, this class uh, is a practical class, it's based on the design process and if you like making things, if you like investigating how things work and how technology uh, affects the world, your everyday life, uh, this is the subject for you. You should enjoy it. We, we do various things from basic understanding of uh, motors and electronics. There's a little project, a little display project for Christmas uh, that the girls were working on. And as much as possible, we work uh, through the subject by uh, building little projects investigating how things work and how we affect the planet through technology, how we use uh, materials wisely and so on. So if you like making things, if you like discovering, this is a great subject for you. Hi, I'm a third year student and right now we're working on making a mechanism for our third year project. So this is an example of what we are doing, making an opening and closing door. So this is the mechanism we're working on right now. You can see the girls practicing it here. And I think technology is a very interesting subject today in school. We hope you enjoyed all the fun activities that were happening in the, in the home ec and technology rooms. Next stop on our tour is the art and music room. Let's see what they're up to. Welcome to the art department. This is one of two art rooms we have in Ursuline College. I'm Mrs. Milani and this is Miss Fitzgerald. So I'm going to bring you over to meet some first year art students here. So Blonnet, are you enjoying art so far? Yes. What have you done so far in first year? Um, so far we started off by doing textures and dot and lines, which are the elements of art. And then we moved on to do a repeated pattern, which is something like this. And then after we did the repeated pattern for Halloween, we decided to do scary Halloween heads by using paper mache. And after Christmas, we're going to be doing shoes. Great. And Shannon, have you enjoyed art so far? Yeah. Are you glad you chose it? Yeah, because it's relaxing. So, Ellen, you're a third year student now. Would you? Are you still glad you picked art? Uh, yeah, because I get to express myself through art and it's not very stressful because we don't have homework or tests. Great. And Abby, 
could you tell everyone a little bit about the work you do in second year? In second year we do loads of different medias, like we do these boutiques and we do portraits, paintings um, and we do a lot of sketchbook work and it's mostly practical, not really written. So you just practice all the different kinds of skills there are in art and all the different crafts. Now I'm talking to Hazel, who's busy working on her final year project for Junior Search. So, Hazel, where did you get your ideas? Um, I got my ideas for the artwork from the Department of Education, which gave us three themes to choose from, and I chose my environment. Okay, so what have you been doing so far in third year? Um, so far we've been doing a lot of our work in our sketchbook, and we've been doing different medias in our art and been researching artists to do. And okay, so you're researching artists, yeah. but there's no exam? No exam. And it's like mostly practical stuff for our junior cert. And at the end of, um, for after Christmas, we do our final piece, which can be either a poster or a 3D um, sculpture or uh, um, etching. Great. Have you decided what you're doing yet? Um, I haven't decided yet, but I will soon enough. Hi, my name is Miss McQuillan and I teach music and choir in Ursuline College. When you enter a school by the yellow doors, you can hear distinct sounds of music coming from the music room. It might be live music, recorders, ukuleles, piano, strings, woodwind, saxophones, trad, harps or singers. If you come in the blue door, before COVID you would hear choirs harmonising, practising pop, classical, jazz or religious songs, depending on the occasion. If you go to the sports hall in January, you would see the TUIs practising songs and dance moves for their new musical, the last live one being Legally Blonde. Our aim is to help each student realise their potential in all three areas of music, playing, composing and listening. Students are free to choose their own pieces and songs. By third year, students will be able to read music have developed listening skills, performed at least three pieces of music, composed a varied selection of pieces, and have the language to critique and enjoy music, as well as having fun along the way. Hi, my name is Orla Devlin, and I'm a fifth year music student. I chose music in first year as I have a background in piano, and I've kept it up as I've loved it ever since. My favorite subject is music, largely because of the practical element, 30% in junior cert and 50% in leaving cert from learning the names of the notes in first year all the way through to being able to compose in sixth year, music has given me a thorough understanding of the mechanics of it, as well as the theory behind it. A large part of music is listening. This year we got to study Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, which I really enjoyed. Listening helps my music ear. Technology is also a large part of music. It was great to be able to carry it on from junior search to being able to use it in my leaving search. Another element of music that I really enjoy is singing. Understanding the theory behind it helps me to improve my voice. I regularly sing at school masses and even got to sing at our musical last year. I would thoroughly recommend music to everyone, especially if you've an interest in music, whether or not you play an instrument. Lots of creativity in the art and music room. Now let's see what work our AEN team and our guidance teachers do in our school. Good evening. My name is Natalie Riley and I am one of the additional education and needs coordinators here in the Ursuline College. My name is Edel Murray and I'm the other AEN coordinator. Here we believe that all students have a right to an education based on their own individual needs. We pride ourselves in the fact that we are an inclusive school and we strive to ensure that all students reach their full potential. We are very lucky here in Ursuline College to have an additional education needs team and they meet weekly. They identify students' needs and then provide the relevant provision for them. Throughout the year, they monitor and review their progress. I will now hand you over to three of our students who'd like to share their experiences. During my six years of being in the Ursuline College, I have found that the SNAs and teachers here are very helpful, especially the SNAs, as when I broke my leg, they helped bring my books and bags to each class. The SNAs in the Ursuline College are very approachable and make you feel very comfortable and don't treat you differently from anyone else. The teachers are also very understanding if you miss a lot of class time due to hospital appointments 
and try their best to help you catch up work you've missed from school. When I first came to Eslain, I was nervous because I wasn't used to speaking English throughout. Thankfully, with the help of the teachers, they provided me with resource classes which helped me feel comfortable and adapt to the environment quickly. Now I've settled perfectly and it's all thanks to the teachers. In my six years at the Ursuline College, I have found the resources available to be absolutely brilliant as they have helped me to manage subjects that I would find difficult and hard to understand, such as home ec and biology. The smaller class sizes gives a greater one-to-one -one resource with the teacher. I have found both the teacher and school to be so helpful, accommodating and generous with their time. We are very grateful for all the support we receive in this school from all of our teachers. Next up is the modern foreign language rooms and the business rooms. Salut! Salut! Je m'appelle Ruby. Comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Shireen. Ça va bien? Je vais bien, merci. Et toi? Je vais bien, merci. Où habites-tu? J'habite à Balassadeur à Sligo. J'habite à la campagne à Sligo. C'est quand ton anniversaire? Mon anniversaire. Bonjour, est... je m'appelle Ella. Je m'appelle Laura. Je m'appelle Aliana. We're third years and we've been doing French for three years. These are the reasons we love French. I love French because I love learning about the different regions of France and knowing the language will really help me when I want to travel. I like French because I love learning about the interesting culture and I look forward to the class every day. I picked French because I think it sounds really nice and I love the accent. In class we have lots of fun but we also learn lots of new French words. In second year we did a three minute French presentation for our CBA. It was daunting at the start but I ended up really enjoying it. This is why we chose French and why we love French. C'est maintenant. Oh mon dieu, moi aussi, allons à cœur. D'accord, au revoir. Au revoir. Merci. Au revoir. Hola Kira, buenos dias, como estas? Hola Grace, muy bien, y tu? Estupenda. Qual es tu signatura favorita, Grace? Mi signatura favorita es el español, porque me, me gusta mucho mi profesora española, porque es muy simpática. Y tu? Para mi también, claro. Grace just told me that her favorite subject, like me, is Spanish. There are over 450 million Spanish speakers all over the world. It's a lovely language and it's very useful too. Guten Tag. Ich bin eine der Deutschlehrerin hier in der Schule. So why learn German? German is a very popular language in Ireland. It is spoken by over 100 million people in Europe, in Austria, Switzerland and Germany. Germany is Ireland's third largest trading partner. There are over 250 German companies operating in Ireland. So knowledge of German increases your chances of career and job opportunities. In sixth class, I talked to my brother about learning German because he himself was learning German in school. He said that it was a really easy language to learn because it was written the way it was spoken. I also wanted to learn more about the culture of Germany, which I did in class. I knew that German was a really popular language around the world and I thought it would be a handy language to have. This year, we have a German assistant called Rosalie. We have her class once a week and we learn about the culture and we work on pronunciation and we play lots of fun games. Sligo is twinned with a town in Germany called Kempton. If you do German, you will have a chance in transition year to do an exchange to this town in Germany. Now let's hear some German. Wie alt bist du? Ich bin 14 Jahre alt. Ah, so good. Wo wohnst du? Ich wohne in Sligo, das ist in Nordwestirland. Super. Hello, I'm Ms. Walker. I'm one of several business teachers here in the Ursuline College in Sligo. Business is a very popular subject in this school. In business, um, you can study it in the junior cycle and you also can continue to study business in the senior cycle as well. Um, in business, you have the opportunity to learn very important life skills such as personal finance or you can learn about how to become an entrepreneur should you wish to start and manage your own business in the future. Today we have two girls and they're doing a marketing mix project on an international brand being sold in Ireland. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm a second year student studying business in the Ursuline College. Hi, I'm Anna. I chose to study business as I felt it would open a wide range of career paths to me. 
such as marketing, finance and consumer law. Business has a massive part to play in the modern day world. In the school you have the chance to learn how to save and budget for massive expenses in your future, such as a car or a house. Today I'm doing a marketing mix project on the brand Harry Bow. I'm researching the product, price, place and promotion. I study business in school as I want to become an entrepreneur when I'm older and open my own business in Sligo. And you have to have excellent communication skills in business. In school, you do two class-based assessments for the junior cycle. In second year, you, do, you learn and develop your report writing skills. And in third year, you develop your research and presentation skills. Thank you to the languages and business classes for all that wonderful information. Now we will introduce you to our first year year heads and show you some of the great leadership opportunities available in our school. Hello, my name is Edel Murray and I'm year head to first years and also chaplain here in Ursuline College. I teach religion, CSP and choir. I love my role as year head as I get to work very closely with the new first years. It can be a difficult transition from sixth class into secondary school. And I see my role as my main priority is to help students settle in, listen to their needs, and to make sure that they know they are cared for and supported here. We have a great pastoral care team, right from our principal, deputy principal, year heads, and of course, every class has their own class tutor, guidance counselor, and chaplain. And all of us work very hard to make sure that our students have a very happy and positive experience here in school. We not only support our students, but as year head, I keep close contact with parents and guardians. And I feel it's very important to keep this channel of communication open between school and home. I really look forward to seeing you here next year. And I just want to wish you all the very best of luck as you finish out in your sixth class. Hello everybody, my name is Jara Cornyn. I'm a teacher at Ursuline College. I have a long positive association with the school. I've been teaching geography and English here for many, many years, and I'm also a past pupil. I'd like to say that that wonderful spirit of looking after each individual and valuing their uniqueness is very much prevalent in our school, just as it was when I was a student so many years ago. I want to welcome you all as you embark on your secondary school journey. This is a wonderful school. I've been year head to first years for over 12 years now, and I have a special interest in helping you grow and progress on your educational journey during your first year. I also teach well-being to all first year groups, so I feel very privileged to have time to get to know each class in a non-academic way. I really look forward to meeting you, teaching you, and fostering your unique talents and abilities as you join us here at Ursuline College. My name is Kleena Walsh and I'm in 6D. I'm this year's Deputy Head Girl and I'm also heavily involved in sport both inside and outside the school. Ursuline College offers a variety of leadership programs with student representatives from first year all the way up to sixth year, each with their own vital voice. Here we have some student representatives to tell you a little bit more. Hi, my name's Tara Flynn and I'm from 1D. I'm a part of the Student Council and I'm in first year. Some of, we have regular meetings and we've discussed things like the anti-bullying policy and, the student, and what we think should be on the student tab on our website. We like to, to we, have, we do a lot of charity work like Focus Ireland and we did a shoebox appeal and we raised lots of money. There's a representative from each class for the student council. Hi, I'm Ellen O'Grady and I'm in 6C. I'm part of the Senior Sports Council the Sports Council offers a great opportunity for students to add their voice to the sports life in the school. We place a great importance on sports activity in the school, not just the academic side. There's such a variety here, like from athletics to swimming to golf, and of course hockey and Gaelic. And right beside me here, we have a prime example of a sports leadership in the school, Kleena, our deputy head girl, who has 
uh, played for Ireland on multiple occasions for tennis and was the under-16 All-Ireland champion. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I think that tennis has given me great opportunities to develop life skills, along with giving me an escape from schools. Hello, my name is Rona Curlin, I'm in 1C and I'm a first year member of the Green Council. This year we've been looking at raising awareness and reducing our energy consumption in the school. We have also been looking at fast fashion and made posters and a display on the high energy production of making clothes. We've been working towards getting our next green energy flag. As a young member of the Council, I was surprised at how much my opinion matters in the actions of the Green Council. Even at first years, we get the opportunity to get involved and have a say in important matters in our school. Next up on our tour is the PE and Science classrooms. Let's see what they're getting up to. Hello, my name is Miss Cullinan and I'm a member of the Physical Education Department here at Ursuline College Sligo. We are very fortunate to have some fantastic facilities here. Our all-weather hockey pitch, our sports hall and a fitness studio equipped with lots of fitness equipment. I will now hand you over to Kate and Sheena, two first-year students who will talk to you about their experiences here with PE in Ursuline College. Hi, I'm Kate. And I'm Sheena and we're here to talk to you about PE. We love PE and it doesn't just benefit our physical health but also our mental health. On our first term here we played fun games to get to know each other and now we're playing basketball. We do something different every six to seven weeks. And when the weather is good we get to go out in our astro turf pitch. Myself and Kate have PE on a Friday which is a great day, way to end the week. We also get to wear our track suit on the day we have PE. We really enjoy that. I'm Tara and I'm a TY student. There is a wide range of activities to do in PE. There is something for everyone to enjoy. It is positive and energising and helps us to bond as a group. On a personal level, it is a subject that I really enjoy and look forward to every week. In each of our PE classes, we have a flavour of different sports which is always fun and there's something new every week. Hi, my name's Ruth and I'm a TY student. In TY this year, we have completed a training module with the Sligo GAA, which helps to develop our coaching skills. We put this into practice by coaching the first years throughout the year. We have also completed fitness plans, which we carry out by using the gym equipment, such as the spinning bikes and rowing machines. This is very beneficial as it keeps us fit and active. Here's a look at some of our chemistry students in action. I'm doing a flame test. We burn different salts and we can see that their flames burn with different colours. Like this one, burns with a red flame, so we know it's strontium. Whereas this one burns with a blue-green flame, so we know it's copper. Those flames are nice, but I prefer bigger flames. These are methane bubbles. Wow, that looked great. I wonder what the physics students are doing. A theremin is an electronic musical instrument that you can play without touching. One antenna is used to control frequency, while the other is used to control volume. It is used to demonstrate sound waves and electromagnetism in physics. In addition to these subject choices, students get the chance to participate in numerous science competitions, such as BT Young Scientist, CANSAT and SciFest. These competitions provide an excellent opportunity for students to research and present their own projects at both a regional and national level. The Ursuline has a rich and successful history in these areas of extracurriculars. But wait, I thought there was another science subject for leaving certs. Yes, there is, Abby. It's ag science. What is agricultural science, you ask? Agricultural science is the study of animals, plants and soils. It's different to the other sciences, however, Agricultural science strongly incorporates aspects of biology as well as chemistry. It also looks at new and innovative ideas on how to make farming practices more sustainable for our environment. The great thing about agricultural science is we get to do a project for Leaving Cert. This reduces stress as everything's not dependent on the written exam. And these are some of the reasons why we love agricultural science. Thank you so much for visiting all our scientists. We hope to see you all soon. Bye! Always exciting things happening in both PE and science in our school. Next up you will hear about all the extracurricular activities happening here in the school and you will also learn about our Corridors programme. Hi, I'm Misha Moylan. And I'm Ellen O'Grady. We're sixth year students here in the Ursuline. 
There is so much more than just hard work in the classroom here at the Ersline. There are also a lot of fun and exciting extracurricular activities. Why don't we hear about a few? I play on the school's Gaelic soccer and hockey team. We train after schools and at lunchtime. It's great because it's given me the opportunity to make lots of new friends. There's not only sports, students can also take part in chess club, book club and debating. Uh, these normally happen after school or during lunch. This year we also did the shoebox appeal. Yeah, I'm on the St Vincent de Paul committee and last year we helped to organise the shoebox appeal. The fifth years also organise all the clubs for the first years, so I'm running the book club. There's also a whole load of competitions that you can take part in, like Soapbox, which is a public speaking competition. And Poetry Loud, another public speaking competition, which allows you to like further more insight into poetry. And another competition is the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which you get to express our creativity. We were the Cheshire Cat when we were in first year. <laughs> and in TY, you get to perform a musical. Normally it's in the Hawkswell, but during COVID, we did it in the hall virtually, and it was really fun. And the whole year got to bond over it. Music is a big part of school school life here. We can play instruments and sing. I've been on the choir throughout my years here. In second year we got to go to London, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> if you're interested in science, you also have so many opportunities. This year we have four teams in the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition and three teams made it to the SciFest final. So there's something for everyone here in the Earthline. Hello, my name is Kate and I'm a first year here in Earthline College. It was very easy to settle into school life here and one of the best things that helped me was that Carger's programme, where our first year is paired with the sixth year. And here is my Carger IFA. It's such a privilege being part of the Carger's programme and to get to share our experiences with the first years. We first met at the start of the year with ice cream and we had a great chat. And, I, and of course I asked lots of questions. I hope not too difficult. Meeting Aoife and knowing she was going to be there for me during the year gave me great confidence. What really helped me to settle in was the induction days at the beginning of the year. Meeting our class tutor and year head and going through the induction booklet was great. It would have been so hard going straight into class on the first day. As sixth years, it's so great to build new friendships with the first years and we feel really lucky to get to know them better. The Courageous programme really helped us first years to settle into the school this year. We hope you enjoyed a tour of our school this evening and we look forward to see you all soon. Our final stop tonight is a message from our principal. Hello everyone, my name is Colin McIntyre and I'm the acting principal in Ursuline College. I would like to thank you for making the time to come to our virtual open night. I hope that you enjoyed the experience and the opportunity to meet with some of our wonderful students and teachers. I hope it also gave you some sense of life in Ursuline College and the school spirit which exists here. We would have liked to have brought you in person to our school this evening. However, after seeking advice from the JMB, who are the management body for secondary schools, and public health officials, we were advised against an in-person open night. However, our hope is that in the coming months, the COVID situation will stabilise and improve vastly as in other years. We would then like to invite you to an in-person open night by appointment. In the meantime, we encourage you to follow our school on social media to see what activities and events are happening there. We can be followed on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Finally, since it is December, I would like to wish you all a very happy Christmas and every blessing in the year ahead. Caring, resilient, respect, active, positive attitude, kindness, uniqueness, school spirit, friends for life. We are ECN!